Lisa, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are finally circling back around to the topic of languages and language learning. I haven't done a video on this topic in a very long time and I've really missed it and I really wanted to sit down and talk about it a little bit again. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today, so stick around. So basically, as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about why I think native speakers make pretty bad teachers. Now just off the bat, I have to say, like, obviously, I don't mean native speakers who are training to be teachers. Like, those are the best teachers. Those are, like, A+. Plus. Like, I have had such great native speaking Japanese teachers. Like, I'm not knocking that at all. I'm talking about why native speakers by themselves, without teacher training, just, it's just not a good situation to ask them to teach you the language, pretty much. This doesn't necessarily apply to everyone, but it is definitely something I've noticed and something I've noticed about myself as well. And it's kind of obvious if you think about it, but the number one thing is that native speakers have never had to learn their language. So obviously they have no first-hand knowledge of the issues that you as a student of that language will be facing. With every language I believe that there's some very common areas where people make a lot of mistakes and when somebody hasn't had to go through the process of like overcoming those barriers themselves then they often find it really difficult to recognize those areas and uh, most importantly they won't have the means to give to you to do that yourself. Well, the only thing most native speakers will tell you when you ask them a grammar question is, yeah, well, I don't know, I'm, I just do this by feel. And obviously that's not very helpful to somebody who's trying to figure out the ins and outs, who's looking for rules to follow when it comes to grammatical structures and when to use which word or which structure. The biggest reason why is that a native speaker has never had to think about their language. Just consider your own mother tongue and try to come up just off the top of your head with some rules that you would 100% say are correct when it comes to your language, like when to use what, when to do what. Just try to think about that and honestly, I'm pretty sure you won't come up with much. So like with German, I definitely learned a bunch of rules in school but, oh my god, that was 10 years ago and then by now I have literally no idea of anything anymore. So how do you deal with a situation where all you have as a teacher is a native speaker? Like for example, me right now, I um, have no teachers that teach me actual Japanese grammar. I have to teach it all to myself and there's a lot of nuances that I'm very unclear about and like have no idea when to use this form and this because in my grammar book it says that they mean the same thing so when exactly should I use what and anytime I ask a Japanese people I know when to use what or like why this is correct and this isn't like they find it really hard to explain or they're like well I don't really know <laughs> I, I mean, this sounds correct and this doesn't, and that's what it boils down to. And even that isn't 100% foolproof, because, as you might probably know with your own mother tongue, there's a lot of mistakes that you make in speaking your mother tongue that have just sort of become bad habits of yours, but you've just become accustomed to using those phrases and saying those sentences that particular way so that maybe you believe they are correct and most people don't care because maybe it's a common mistake they, you make or like a small mistake, but it's still a mistake. And on an exam, you will still be marked as having made a mistake there even though a lot of native speakers probably make the same mistake all the time. That obviously is an area that you only really get into when you already know more of a language because it's more of like nuances and like smaller things like when you can say what and um, you know it's probably not an issue for like beginners because when you begin a language with this very clear cut things of like this is just wrong. Another thing is that native speakers won't just know what level to grade you for or to correct you for and it can be really hard when you're for example like usually in the intermediate level of language learning to um you know get them to grade you or correct you according to your level because there's two types of like wrong right there's a wrong of like grammatically wrong or like you use the vocabulary the wrong or something like that and that's usually pretty easy to correct even by native speaker because they can just be like nope you need to substitute this for that but then there's also a level of like, it's not grammatically wrong, but it doesn't sound natural. And there's like a better way to say it. And 
when you are already like at the top level of language learning that's like what you want right you want your um partner to like correct you for like how to make it sound better or how to make it sound more natural whereas over here you just want to know like what's correct and what's wrong like finding out the grammar rules so it really really is difficult to get your native speaking like language partner to correct you for whichever one you want because maybe you just want them to correct the like really rough mistakes but they really want to make you sound more natural so they'll be like really nitpicky and you get like frustrated because you feel like all you say is wrong and you have like no clue of the language at all or they feel like as long as they get the gist of what you're trying to say it's correct and they won't iron out those small wrinkles that you're really looking to get ironed out so it's really really difficult um from somebody who's not trained to um, sort of assess the other person's skills and to assess um, to what degree they should like mark them on or like correct them to to make a good teacher for your specific situation and for your specific requirements kind of thing. So what do you do when your only option is to go to a native speaker to ask for language advice? Well, this is what I found works the best um, because it just um, doesn't put so much pressure on the other person to know more than they should. Basically what I try to do is I try to look at the grammar myself and I cr compare the example sentences and I try to come up with like rules or at least hypotheses of rules myself. So I think this form is used in those kind of cases and I think those this form is used in that kind of cases. And when you come up with a hypothesis, it's pretty easy to then take that to a native speaker and ask them, well, what do you think about this? Do you think this is correct? Can you like, could you, can you think of like examples that would contradict a part of my hypothesis? Or is this an actual rule that I can, you know, take home with me? And this is obviously more focused on, um, again, ironing out the nuances because there are obviously rules that you can just read up on. Like in my book, for example, it does give me a rule of like this is used then and this is used then, but like just to like really pinpoint it and just to really make sure um, it's best to just take kind of yes or no questions to your native speaking teachers. Because I kind of feel like bad if I um, go to somebody and ask them a lot of questions and they can't give me any answers. I feel like it makes them feel bad for not knowing more when that really when they really shouldn't. Like it's totally fine that they don't know more. Like I don't know that stuff about German either. So I think that's the best way to kind of circumvent this issue is like to try to come up with your own rules and then have them corroborated or falsified. So I know this video was a little bit all over the place. I hope you still got the gist of what I'm trying to say. But I think it definitely really depends on um, kind of the language level you're at to find the best kind of teacher for yourself. Obviously, if you go and like sign up for structured, like normal classes, then do that because that's like probably the best way to learn. But at a certain level, like for example, at my Japanese level, there's no actual like Japanese teaching classes in Vienna that I could go to where I have an actual teacher, a trained teacher to like help me improve my language. So. I have to make do with like kind of trying to teach myself and like checking back with the native speaker to see if I'm not learning things wrong. So yeah, I think if you want to get the most out of it, try to study as much as you can by yourself and then just kind of try to find a native speaker to look over your work and uh, kind of correct you wherever you're going wrong. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And in the meantime, head on over here to check out some other videos I recently did. I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye!